Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Natalie. Today I have for you, finally, after so many months, I was gonna say many years, it's been, I think, a full year without me uploading a monthly favorites. And I truly miss it because those used to be my favorite videos to upload since I would get to try products and let you guys know which one were my favorites for the month. So I really want to bring them back. Let me know what you guys want me to share in my monthly favorites and I'll definitely try to include them. I want to share other than just beauty and makeup. I would love to bring back my music favorites and my monthly favorites, but copyright, am I right? I'm going to try to include like a couple songs at the end of this video and play around with it and see if I can get away with it, but I don't know. Without further ado, let's jump right into my recent favorites. All right, so I have here a basket full of my recent favorites. Honestly, this is not all of them. I haven't done one of these in a long time, so I have lost my touch. I am definitely going to start making it a thing to put my favorites of the month in a basket so I can keep up with it because I know for a fact these are not all. I do want to mention most of these products are not new products out there. They're just like the products that I've been using the most for the past few months now. So with that being said i want to start with nail care because i have recently changed to using cruelty free vegan and non-toxic nail polishes i feel like that's something that we don't necessarily pay attention to a lot we maybe take care of our health and what we eat what we digest and maybe like our skincare we start being more cautious of the ingredients but for nail polish, this was definitely something I wasn't too cautious about and I'm so glad that I made the change. So these are 10 free nail polishes. I have here the Winter Collection, which is the one that I've been using the most recently. This portion of the video is sponsored by 10 free, but I honestly love all of these. I have currently this beautiful plum shade in the color Up To Snow Good. The names are all so unique and cute. So a little bit more about Ten Free. Like I mentioned, they are non-toxic, vegan, cruelty-free, and also plant-based. So their ingredients are all super amazing the more you look into it. It consists of plant extract, vitamins, minerals, and peptides, which in the long run will help your nails go from fragile and weak to stronger, healthier nails. My issue has always been that my nails constantly break and I've tried the hardest to make them stronger. I've taken vitamins and I also have like been trying other nail polishes to make them stronger, but they don't work. And I have been using these for the past month and I've noticed a huge difference already on my nails. I feel like they're so much stronger. I love their base coat. They also have a prep and peptides base coat, which I apply first and then the base coat and then the color and then their top coat, which their top coat actually helps your nails last a lot longer and it gives a beautiful shine to them as well. So yeah, overall, absolutely love them. They were kind enough to give me a discount code. So if you guys want to purchase some of their polishes, you can use Natalie Munoz X3, which is my Instagram handle, and you can get 10% off at checkout. You can actually use their discount every time you purchase something from them. So it's not like a one-time thing. Um, so again, definitely recommend. And also, I almost forgot, their pigmentation is to die for. Like, you literally just need one swipe or one coat. It's super pigmented, and I've shared a couple of my nail art on my Instagram in case you guys want to check it out. But one of my favorites from the Winter Collection is Up to Snow Good, which is this beautiful plum color. I also love this green one, Keep Calm and Sweater On. And then this beautiful blue one, Love at Frost Sight. But overall, the entire collection is beautiful. So I'll link it down below for you guys so you can check it out for yourself. But I definitely recommend making the switch. All right, so moving on to makeup. I feel like I stopped sharing makeup a long time ago and I truly miss it. I know some of you guys have been asking me to make like my everyday makeup routine or some makeup tutorials. So if you do want me to start sharing those again, leave them in the comments below, obviously, just so I can know what to write in my to film videos but this has been my favorite foundation ever since it came out. I believe it came out in the summertime and I fell in love completely. So it's from NARS. It's the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. It is a full coverage foundation in my opinion. It could be a medium to full, but it's definitely a full coverage foundation. Like the name says, it does have a soft matte finish, which I love personally because I do have a medium to combination skin, or so I thought. We'll get into that a little bit later. I've always had like a little bit oily in my T-zone and then just normal skin throughout the rest of my face. But the shade that I have been using is Tahoe Medium Deep. It is a little bit dark for me right now, but I still, I still really love it. It's just such a beautiful finish to your skin. So 
Definitely a must try if you're looking for a new foundation. All right, so concealer and setting powder. I'm gonna mention these two together because they are from Laura Mercier. I've been using this concealer for like the past four or five months now. It's their Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. I use it in the color 3W. A little bit lighter for me, but I do like a lighter under eye in my opinion. I just blend it with a blending sponge and it does the trick, but I love this concealer so much. It's been really great for me and it doesn't crease, doesn't like create any fine lines and it has a nice coverage as well. Now to set my concealer and foundation, I again have been loving this Laura Mercier translucent powder. They came out with the honey shade last year and I fell in love with it. It's truly like the perfect translucent powder for my medium skin tone. And even if you are fair skin, if you have a yellow undertone, this is going to be the best setting powder ever. I love the finish of it and I love how natural it makes your skin and just like healthy looking skin. So yeah, love this a lot and it sets your foundation and concealer really well. All right, so this is actually a new favorite of mine. It recently came out, it's from Equal Tools and it's their biodegradable sponge. It's the very first one out there. You can plant this, which is so cool and it grows really, like it doubles the size. And even better, it's also at an amazing price in my opinion. So I'll have everything linked below, of course. All right, moving on to mascara. If you guys have been following me for a long time now, you know that I use like 20 different mascaras to create the illusion that I like. It could be the most amazing mascara and I would still use like three different ones just to give it more coats and like a different consistency, if that makes sense. So for example, I love the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I love the Voluminous from L'Oreal, but this has been the only mascara that I've been using. I don't use more than one anymore, which is honestly so shocking to me personally. Of course, I do like apply a bunch of coats of this particular one, but it's amazing. And it is the NARS Climax Extreme Mascara. This is totally worth the money. I think they came out with this one last year. They have the original red tube for their Climax Mascara, but the black Climax Extreme is honestly amazing. The way that I can describe it, it's similar to the Voluminous Mascara, but like 20 times better. Like formula wise and brush wise, I personally love this kind of brush. It does get a lot of product on the actual wand, but it doesn't make it too clumpy, which I like. So yeah, I love, love, love this one for sure. All right, so last beauty product on my favorites is this Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade. This is definitely not new, but it's been the one product that I've been using a lot, especially because they discontinued my favorite pomade from Benefit. So I stumbled upon this one and it is way better and obviously a better price as well. The color that I have it on, it's black brown. I love this, love the consistency and the pigmentation as well. All right, so let's talk about skincare. I have a couple skincare products that I wanna share with you guys, starting with this primer. So this is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base. I've mentioned this a lot, especially on my Instagram, but I have been using this for like, I think two years now and I love this, especially, especially in the winter when your skin is really dry. I personally used to use this just as a moisturizer. I'm not one to apply primer every single time. So the fact that this is a two in one, it is a moisturizer and primer in one. Love this. Love, love, love. It's super hydrating. It's just really rich in moisture. And I feel like my skin loves this as well because it just makes my foundation and makeup look a lot more natural on my skin. All right, so this is a product that I've been meaning to rave about it a lot more than I have. I mentioned it in one of my vlogs, but at the beginning of the year, I got a crazy allergic reaction to my skin. I have never gotten an allergic reaction. I feel like my skin is very tough in that aspect. Like I get to try so many products all the time, especially with this job that you get sent so many products. So for New Year slash my birthday, we went to Boston and I took a couple products with me and I also used some of Eric's products as well, like basically the products that I give him that are sent to me. Skincare wise, I feel like it definitely had to be something skincare related because my makeup routine is the same, like I haven't really changed many products, but I tried two different like moisturizers and cleansers over there. So 
it probably was one of them. Long story short, I got a crazy allergic reaction. My skin was irritated. It felt like I had like tiny cuts all throughout my face and it was also peeling. So for like two weeks straight, whenever I would try to wash my face or apply moisturizer, my skin would feel like it's burning. And the only product that I had that was fragrance free, at least that I know of in my collection, it was the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. You guys, this was the only product that I could apply on my skin for those like two weeks of the beginning of the year because again, anything that I tried on my skin, it felt like it was burning even more. And I know that when you get an allergic reaction, you shouldn't apply any product, but it's winter and my skin has been really dry, especially after that allergic reaction. How many times can I say allergic reaction? Anyways, this is an eight hour cream, like I mentioned. So it's technically like a nighttime mask, which would give your skin a lot more hydration and it's great for anti-aging as well. Oh my God, I'm reading the back right now. It says uses, treat symptoms of chapping, peeling or flaky due to minor burns, sunburn, windburn, scrapes, abrasions, abrasions, that's not English, Natalie, <laughs> and cracked lips. So this is literally the only thing that saved me and I didn't read the back. But yeah, I thought it was going to be a lot more expensive than it is. So I highly recommend it if you guys are looking for a nighttime cream or if you just need like an intense cream. This is super hydrating and also great if you have sensitive skin, apparently. All right, last skincare favorite goes to the Dermalogica Face Scrub. I had such a long time without using this, but this used to be my ride and die favorite product a couple years ago. It's the Daily Microfoliant. I haven't scrubbed my face in a long time as well, so I've been using this recently and it just creates a nice canvas to my skin as well. And I feel like I started getting a lot more texture after that allergic reaction and this has been helping a lot to smooth out my skin as well so i really like this it's super easy to use it's technically powder so you just put it in your hands apply a little bit of water and then just scrub your skin it's pretty gentle as well all right i have two body products to share with you guys this is definitely one that i recently mentioned in one of my vlogs it's from lather it's another like vegan cruelty free brand and it is a body exfoliating cleanser i am the pickiest person ever when it comes to a body scrub because I feel like most of the scrubs that I've tried are way too gentle or like don't scrub my skin as I would like. This is the best scrub I have ever tried. The consistency is so cool as well because it take, technically looks like coffee. That's what it looks like. And then you apply... Oh, God damn it. Uh. Once you apply water, it gets foamy, but it's still really exfoliating on your skin. It's not harsh. It leaves your skin feeling super soft. I try this on my hands as well and my feet and it works amazing. So I've really been loving this, especially for the winter and the ingredients are all natural as well. I have two TikTok made me buy it products and I cannot believe I am this person now because I used to be so against TikTok before quarantine hit and now that's literally the highlight of my day every single day and i have been loving posting content there as well so i'll link it down below for you guys in case you want to follow me there but this is one of the products that i tried after i saw someone recommended it is the method body coconut rice milk shea butter body wash this smells delicious and it lasts for such a long time it's a great body wash as well like your skin feels super clean and it's sold at target so it's a great price as well and i just i really love it love this another tiktok made me buy a product goes to this mouthwash which apparently is the best in the market right now i also got it at target it's the thera breath dentist formulated fresh breath oral rinse in the icy mint flavor so you know i don't I, what else can i say about a mouthwash it just truly makes your mouth feel like it's super clean afterwards so love using this all right so i get asked all the time about my hair and i wanted to show the product that i've been sharing and talking about for the last year now which is my hair care routine so these have been the products that i've been using for over a year now and it's honestly what i feel like has kept my hair feeling and looking so healthy and also long because i don't know if you guys remember but i cut my hair like up to here two years ago or like a year and a half ago 
maybe two years ago. But again, I've been using this nonstop and it's amazing. Truly worth the money. I feel like just as much as we take care of our skin and invest in our skin, we should be investing in our hair care products. So I love the Aveda line. The one that I particularly like to use is the Nutri Planish line the light moisture they have light moisture and deep moisture the deep moisture is more if you have thicker curlier hair light moisture is if you have finer hair i have like in between so yeah really like this and i've noticed such a difference on my hair if you guys have tried it for my recommendations please let me know in the comments below your thoughts because i feel like i'm the only one raving about this but i also love the leave-in conditioner i spray this every time i get out the shower once i wash my hair i wash it once a week and then I also love the multi-use hair oil. Now this is extremely expensive, but it's so worth it. Like it, it just makes your hair feel and look so healthy. Also, I feel like it's the one thing that has helped my hair from not getting so many split ends. I do use less heat on my hair, which obviously helps, but I used to get so many split ends and I don't know, maybe, maybe it is this that's helping. I love it so much. All right, so super random. Ever since quarantine hit last year, I've had trouble sleeping, like falling asleep. I've always been a night owl, but whenever I would want to go to sleep, I could go to sleep. But for some reason, it's been a lot harder for me to fall asleep, and I've been using these sleeping pills, which are the Hum Beauty ZZZZ pills. <laughs> um, they're basically just melatonin, and it it's, you know, it, it works. It works. That's all I could say about it. It doesn't make me feel drowsy the next day or make me feel drugged as well. So I, I like it for that reason. Super random, but this is an Amazon favorite of mine. I'm going to be making an Amazon favorites. I promise. I promise I'm going to be making an Amazon favorites. But this is baby hair like gel situation. It's technically gel in a mascara bottle. Let's be real. And then you can, you know, brush off your flyaways or your baby hairs. This is amazing when you're wearing a ponytail or a bun. I don't know. It just works great with flyaways and baby hairs. All right, so perfume favorites. This has been the only perfume I've been using recently for the past like three months now. I've had this in my collection for over a year now and I never gravitated towards it because honestly the scent wasn't my top favorite. But the more I use it, the more I love it. It's very sweet, very romantic, very like feminine. Apparently it's compared to the Baccarat, I think you pronounce it, but this is a fraction or way more cheaper than that perfume. So yeah, the Ariana Grande Cloud perfume is totally worth the try. All right, so last but very not least has to go to my five minute journal. I have talked about this a lot in like my resolutions video that I made. I'll link it down below for you guys. But this has been so amazing and great for me, especially this past year. I just love writing in here. It just makes you a lot more grateful for the little things and also a lot more positive. Overall, I love this journal a lot. So if you want to get into journaling, this is the easiest way to get into it. I am not a writer. Like I don't necessarily like to fully journal. But these five questions every day, it's, it's really great for you. All right, you guys, so that concludes my favorites. But I think I'm going to try sharing some music favorites right now. I think I'm going to try. So let me go get my JBL really quickly. All right, so of course today that I want to share some music, my JBLs are dead, um, except for this one. Hopefully it doesn't die on me. Dime papi. Dime mami. Esa noche que la borra. TikTok made me do it. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got down this blue and just a slash in both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas strip tonight. Listen, I don't know what it is. You could be in a super healthy relationship, but this song just hits differently. Okay? Got my driver's license last week, just like we always talked about. Cause how could I ever love someone? Else? And I know we weren't perfect. All right, my favorite part. My favorite part. Red lights, stop, stop, just see
right, this one's a week new, but I really love it. I haven't memorized the lyrics though. Alright, so those are pretty much my recent favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check the description box for everything that I mentioned. I'm going to be listing the music and obviously the products. And also, don't forget to check out 10 free and take advantage of 10% off using Natalie Munoz X3 on any nail polishes. Make sure to follow me on Instagram if you aren't already and see you next time. Bye!